Hello, welcome to the first Movement Possible um, virtual class. Thank you for joining me in this experience and experiment. Um, my name is Kate Blair and I am teaching this class through Berkshire Yoga, Dance and Fitness in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. And uh, the class I'm teaching is called Movement Possible and it is inspired by, in part by, um, some of my studies in Movement Fundamentals with Jane Hawley as well as um, a book called Making Connections by Peggy Hackney. And this class is about exploring all the ways that we move, um, all the patterns that we learned in order to be able to walk and do all kinds of other movements. So by learning of the more basic patterns, um, which a physical therapist named Ermgard Bartiniev um, named and studied, we can expand the own um, the possibilities for our own movement. So this class this evening will be about breath, focused on our breath. And um, each other class will be about another pattern. Um, some of the patterns are breath, core, distal, head, tail, upper, lower, body half, and cross lateral. So we'll start with breath. And breath is essential, an essential part of life. And um, I think it's interesting to think about how the breath connects us both to our heart, to our brain, and to our whole body. So um, I will be guiding you through an experience of your breath. And um, there's really no uh, right or wrong way to approach this whole exercise and dance class. I'm glad you're here. And um, so uh, just to begin, I always begin each class, um, usually with an introduction circle, but I'm the only one here. And um, so uh, take a moment uh, to appreciate yourself and whoever might be with you in the space. Um, and also to sense in your own body how you're feeling and um, what you might be uh, experiencing in your daily life that you're bringing with to this class. Uh, if you have any injury that you need to be extra careful about, um, if you're feeling very energetic and you need a lot of space to move or you're feeling quieter, you need a quieter experience, I think that this class will give you the opportunity, I hope that it'll give you the opportunity to do whatever it is that you need to do. Um, and that's one of the key instructions is to listen to yourself and um, follow that voice within yourself. Um, so, um, and I'll be giving some ideas and instructions and prompts and I hope that you'll find them useful in experiencing your breath and um, the possibilities uh, and potential for movement that we always have in our breath. Um, so the activities, well, we're gonna get started very soon. Um, the activities are gonna be pretty simple to begin with and then we'll add some layers as we go. Um, you also will need some paper and um, just demonstrate here, some paper. It can be recycled paper, anything, just something. So I'll give you a moment to fetch some paper and of course, um, markers, pens, whatever would work for you. And just put them aside once you have those things. We won't be doing a lot of drawing, but uh, we will have some time to do some drawing. Um, Okay, so movement possible. Um, one other thing I like to share is um, that we are gonna be working with our breath through the lens of reconnection 
we're always connected, but we're going to reconnect in this moment in different ways. Um, rhythm and repatterning. So we'll work with those things. I think um, you'll see how that's going to unfold as we go. Um, Okay, so if you're all ready, um, let's just begin with a few moments. Um, find a comfortable place. Uh, you can be laying down on the floor. You could be um, standing up, um, sitting like I am right now. Uh, just find a moment to check in with your breath. You might wanna close your eyes um, and find a a still position. So I'm going to do this part with you, but I'm also going to be talking you through it. So uh, we'll start with our breath and and as you're noticing your breath, First, notice how you're breathing. And you can just experience that. And as you notice your breath and how you're breathing, you also might notice where your breathing is going. And imagine that you could follow your breath, possibly with a paintbrush. Filled with your favorite color of paint. Just paint the pathway of your breath. And I'd like you to continue following your breath. And this time, as you inhale, just sense the movement. But as you exhale, let yourself move in the direction of your breath. So on the inhale, I'm still, and on the exhale, I'm moving. And the inhale, I'm noticing how my breath moves in my body, but I'm mostly still. And on the exhale, I'm moving. 
you don't need to follow me for this exercise. Um, just trying to demonstrate a bit, so I'll continue for a while, but you can be in your own flow of inhale is mostly still and exhale, follow that movement and um, allow your movement to be bigger on the exhale. Okay. Okay, so as you're doing this activity, um, you're following your own movement. So this is different than a typical class. You don't have to um, mimic me at all. I'm just giving the prompt and the demonstration to show what the exploration idea is. So um, we tried that for a while. Now we're gonna try the opposite. So this time we will be moving as we inhale and then still as we exhale. And the still is a dynamic stillness. Um, when you're still, really sense where it is that your breath is. And uh, when you inhale, you can move however you want. Um, whatever feels good, as big or as little as you like. Um, it's your time to experience and to explore. Uh, okay, so. Let's try that. Moving as you inhale, being still in a dynamic way, following the subtle movement of your breath on the exhale. If you make, make mistakes, because we just did the opposite, that's okay. Just keep going. Okay, here we go.
Okay, so we'll take a pause from that for a moment. Um, notice in your body how you feel uh, after that experience with our breath. Um, so that's an exercise that you can um, you can try it on your own for longer periods of time. Um, I just wanted to give you an introduction to the idea and we'll be continuing to work with this same idea as the class goes on, but in different ways. So um, this time we're going to just, again, it's an experiment, it's for fun. Uh, right now we're creating our own music, um, but later in the class we will be dancing to some music. So uh, if you're hoping for that, it is coming. Um, okay, so uh, for now though, we're gonna make our own sounds. So um, this is a, an experiment in just loosening up and letting things flow out of us. Uh, and also being aware of our breath and what it takes to make those sounds. So um, in this case, um, we're going to sound as we move and we'll be silent when we're still. And this is an opportunity to be silly uh, and also to just experience um, what kind of sounds you might feel like making. So we're gonna sound as we move and then we'll be silent when we're still. Okay, and I'll go ahead and do this with you. Here we go. Sounding and moving. was an experience that we could do for a long time. I'd like to just keep it moving. So we're going to try um, this time making sounds where while we are still any sounds, continuous sounds, and being silent while we're moving. And just notice what happens in that experience. Okay.
Yap, 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 Okay, <clears throat> so that was an experience. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the experience. I found myself noticing that when I stopped sounding, let's see, I kept it was hard for me to be still in that first moment of making the sounds. The sounds seemed to move through me a little bit. So maybe you noticed some interesting things in your own experience of that. Um, okay. Um, okay, so we are going to continue with this experience of our breath. And <clears throat> we're going to try um, returning to um, the simplicity of what we just, what we started with. Um, but I'm this time, so what we started with, meaning um, will there be um, it, uh, still on our inhale and moving on our exhale. And then we'll switch, but we'll start still on our, um, sorry, what did I just say? Ah, <laughs> let me start over. Um, we're gonna be doing um, stillness on our exhale first. Stillness on the exhale, and we'll move on the inhale. Um, I'd like to layer some images into this. Um, images of um, flying and uh, we'll start with that one. So just an image of a bird in flight. Um, this is an image that my brother Benjamin Blair drew and um, I'm going to share it with you and take it or leave the movement inspiration if you Want to go with this image great if you have another image in mind that's great too but um i'm going to try this one because it's fun to try this okay so 
here we have an image here. And just want you to take a moment and see if that connected with you. Um, the idea of a bird in flight needs a lot of breath to move and um, that may be a fun image to experiment with as we try this next round. So, <clears throat> all right, we have the idea of flying, breath, and we're gonna try um, being still as we exhale. You can think of it as soaring. Um, and on our inhale, we're gonna take off uh, uh, or move. So we'll be moving on the inhale and still on the exhale. Try that same idea again with the image in mind and heart. Here we go. Okay, so we've tried the moving on our inhale and being in a dynamic stillness on the exhale. Now we're gonna turn that over again. And this time I'll just show you the same image again. Um, you can keep experimenting with it, or like I said, you may have your own images arising and that is wonderful. So use this if it helps you, this Eagle by my brother Benjamin Blair. So this time we'll do our um, moving on the exhale, stillness on the inhale. Okay, begin when you're ready.
Okay. Um, so now you've had a variety of um, experiences with this movement exercise, and I hope you feel free to explore the space that you have around you, whether it's small or big, um, enjoy what you have um, available right now. So i <clears throat> um, like to try another layer, uh, this time with another image here. Um, I'm gonna use the eagle image again, uh, but also one more. So I wanted to use these two because I thought it might be fun to experiment with um, <clears throat> inhale and exhale. But this time, we're gonna experiment with continuous motion. Um, so on the inhale, we're gonna try the idea of flight, whatever that means to you. If this eagle picture helps you with that image, great. Um, on the exhale, We'll experiment with the idea of diving underwater and swimming. So um, just experiment with that. And I'll show you, um, I have a couple images here, again, from my brother who was an artist. <clears throat> uh, okay, so just going to remind you of the eagle photo. So this one is a possibility to help you with the flight image from my brother Ben. Okay, a little inspiration from an artist. And this image here, I don't know exactly what it is, but to me it makes me think of water and bubbles and swimming. Um, here it is. Or stars. Perhaps you see other things. Shouldn't have said anything. That gives the power of suggestion, but maybe waves. I don't know what you see, but a lot of possibilities here. So perhaps that image of underwater swimming. And this one's kind of fun. It's another one by my brother, Ben, and it's a shark. Okay. So, on our inhale, we experiment with the image of flying, any kind of bird, airplane, whatever you, wherever you want to go with your imagination. Clouds, the sky is the limit. <laughs> And then we'll do a uh, swimming underwater imagery on our exhale. Um, okay, begin when you're ready.
Okay, I uh, hope that was a fun experience to um, imagine the sky and the sea uh, switching from one to the other very quickly with the power of our breath. Um, it was fun. <laughs> okay. Um, just take a pause for a moment and see if you can notice in your mind whether you have been primarily following your breath with your body or have you been sending your breath to your body? If that um, question has any meaning or uh, if you connect to it, I think it's a combination, but I wonder as I'm doing this. Sometimes I think I feel like I am following my breath and other times I think I'm sending my breath. Um, depending on the moment and I think it can be a fun question to ask um, and see how you experience that. Uh, so um, I think it would be great to take a short pause and um, get out your journal that you hopefully have close by and, or paper, whatever you have, and pen, pen and paper. And just we'll just take a couple of minutes and um, I'm just gonna uh, show you here. I have blank paper and I'm just gonna take a few minutes to um, draw a line and see where it goes. So I would encourage you for this period not to use words, um, to see where your pen takes you. Okay, so I'll give you a couple minutes to do that. Okay, um, go ahead and take a moment to wrap up your drawing. And I'm gonna just share with you um, this image. And there's really no right or wrong way to do what I, whatever you did. <laughs> um, but as I mentioned, it just as an experiment to try and see where the line goes. So this is where my line went all over the place. Okay, and your drawing might be very different than mine. That's completely fine. Um, who knows, maybe you came up with an image that you saw or 
just followed some line that was in the space, get your in. Um, if we were in the same room together, we would share each other's drawings and be inspired by them. Um, but I'm going to have to use my imagination and imagine your drawing. You're in the future taking this class. And um, yeah, uh, just also pause to say thanks again for trying out this experiment. We're not quite done yet. Um, but again, I'll just show you this drawing. Um, Yeah, and <clears throat> I think um, if you'd like, we'll take a, a little bit of time at the for the closing of our class here. Um, I'd like you to use that drawing and um, the principles we've explored so far. And um, I'm gonna do a little bit of music playing. And I play the flute. And I was thinking about how the flute works such is such a good instrument for breath and understanding breath. So I'm going to do some um, flute playing and I'm going to challenge myself to uh, play the flute just like we were doing with our activity. So um, we're going to do our, um, we'll do what we did first. Let me just make sure that I'm not confusing us. Um, yes, so on our inhale, um, we'll move, on the exhale, we'll be still. So that means for me <laughs> that on the inhale, um, there, inhale, move, exhale, be still. And exhale. Okay. So, yes, I got it. Okay, so on the inhale, um, you know, I just realized something that if I do this, you're going to have to sink your breath. If I do it the way I had originally thought about it, that you would have to sink your breath with my flute playing, and I don't want that to be the case. So let me just, um, let's see here. So, okay, got it. So when I play the flute, you get to move. I am gonna move too. When I play the flute, I'm gonna move. Then when I stop, uh, I'll be still and silent. So, okay, got it, yeah. So we're gonna do, when I play the flute, we all move, myself included. And then when I stop and it's silent, then we're all still. That's our first prompt. Okay, ready, begin. <laughs>
Okay, thank you for trying that. Um, now we'll do uh, just the reverse of that. So I will be still when I'm playing the flutes, dynamic stillness, so where, where my breath is going. And when I stop playing the flutes, I'll move. So we're still when I'm playing the flute. I'm still when I'm playing the flute. And then when I stop, we all move until I start again. Okay, let's give it a try. Remember, you don't have to mimic any of the movements I'm doing. You can totally take this in your own direction. Okay, here we go. Still.
Okay. Thank you again. I hope that was an interesting experiment for you. Um, I think we did do it both ways. Can't quite remember. It was so much fun. Um, I think we did. Yes, we did. Okay. Um, so we're getting near to the end of the hour here. Um, and uh, I wanted to try just one more thing. Um, so the breath is in a unique, um, it's a unique part of our human experience. Uh, and the breath connects our heart and our brain in a very special way. Um, our heart and our brain both need our breath. And so we, our whole self does, but um, that is a particular connection that I've been learning a little bit more about and uh, experiencing in my life. Um, so I also have a drum and I am a believer in trying new things. Um, all the time. So I would like to try to play this drum and you can dance however you want. That's the ending. Uh, we'll come back afterward and close the class, but um, I'm just going to play the drum. I don't really know how. I've had a little suggestions from people here and there, but I want to learn, so I'm going to play the drum. <clears throat> Okay, uh, thank you for joining me in this experiment and this experience. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, I hope you'll take the chance to practice these ideas uh, in different ways on your own timing. Um, I wanted to introduce a variety of ways to relate with the breath and experience the breath. Um, so hopefully this class has given you some fun ideas of things to work with. Uh, um, hopefully the virtual classes will continue working for the time being. And um, uh, I mean, myself, um, I know the virtual classes will be fine, but me figuring out how to teach them is the question. So hopefully my class will continue um, working this way as it's needed. And um, I will be uh, working on other, teaching other patterns in the same kind of way, but um, 
each class will be very different. So I hope you'll join for the next movement possible. And it's been great having you uh, in this uh, experience. I can imagine living rooms all over the place and people enjoying themselves. Um, feel free to reach out with any questions. Um, and thanks again for coming. Um, and thanks again to Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness for all their support in making these classes accessible to the community and beyond during this time. May you and your families all be well. Take care. Keep breathing. <laughs>